Let's discuss the calibration technique for the professional. We need to build two databases. One is for flaps up, which we call the cruise configuration, and another with flaps down, called the landing configuration. Both databases, cruise and landing, will require a zero lift and a slow flight maneuver. No stalls are necessary. But first, we need to determine the pressure zero offset for your professional's brain box. This is like setting a new watch for the proper time zone and needs to be done only once. We call this the hangar calibration. Let's begin by pushing your aircraft into a hangar, which is out of the wind. The flap position does not matter for the hangar calibration because the zero offsets will be saved to both the cruise and the landing configuration databases at the same time. For purposes of this calibration demonstration, we have pictured the AOA professional display. This is an airspeed indicator, as is typically found on your aircraft. Power up the professional. Angle, angle, push. And note that it automatically goes through a self-test. It's in the self-test mode now. Angle, push. AOA pass. At this point, you may get oral error messages, or perhaps an AOA pass, as we just got. Explanations for the error messages are found in Appendix E of your manual. There are three modes of operation. We just witnessed the self-test mode. Upon completion of the self-test, the professional goes to the flight mode automatically. In the flight mode, the professional is displaying your angle of attack. The third mode is the calibration mode, and that is where we need to be now to accomplish the hangar calibration. Follow your manual's instructions to get into the calibration mode. HC on the bottom of the display is your verification that you are on the first page of the calibration mode. Within the calibration mode, there are seven pages. Each page has a unique code displayed at the bottom of the display. This is the hangar calibrate page. This is the zero lift page. This is the angle advisory page. This is the approach page. This is the performance page. This is the landing gear extend warning page. And this is the save page. We use the page or mode button to skip over pages without saving calibration data. We use the record button to save data and advance to the next page. From the hangar calibration page, push the record button to write the zero offsets to the brain box's volatile memory. Note that the pro has automatically moved to the next page. This page is the zero lift page as indicated by the zero L on the bottom of the display. Skip to the last page by pushing the page button multiple times until you get to the save page. From the save page, press the record button to copy the hangar calibration data from volatile RAM memory to permanent flash memory. Flash memory does not require a power supply or battery backup to remember what has been written to it. Note that the Pro now automatically changes to the flight mode. The hangar calibration process is complete and you may turn off the power to the professional knowing that the hangar calibration zero offsets will be stored in flash memory for at least 100 years or until you write over it again. Now let's get ready to go flying. Use the checklist and plan the flight calibration process just as you would any test flight. One pilot should be dedicated to flying the aircraft while another person is actually performing the calibration functions. Once airborne and with the flaps up at a safe altitude, apply power to the professional. Angle, angle, push. Air, one, two. You will get several air messages during the self-test mode. Three, Once three. the self-test mode is finished, the professional automatically switches to the flight mode. Since the professional is not yet calibrated, the professional AOA indications are false and should not be used. Get into the calibration mode by following your manual's instructions. You should be on the hangar calibrate page now. Since you have already completed this part of the calibration process, do not press the record button. 
but move to the zero lift page by pressing the page button. Verify you are on the zero lift page by the zero L on the bottom of the display. This is where you will perform a zero lift maneuver by pulling back on the sticker yoke and pushing on the sticker yoke until you have achieved zero G's or weightlessness. To do this accurately, take a tennis ball along and hold it on the palm of your hand. At zero G, it will just begin to float off your palm. At zero G, press and release the red record button to write this angle to RAM memory. Note that the professional moves to the next page, the angle advisory page. This is verified by observing that the bottom of the display shows zero AA. This is the page where we will set the angle of attack where we'd like the professional to issue an oral angle warning. We recommend that you maneuver your aircraft at 15% above its stalling speed. For this particular aircraft, the stalling speed is 65 knots. Indicated airspeed flaps up, so 1.15 times 65 equals 75. And we should fly at 75 in smooth air in a shallow descent. At 75, push and release the record button to write this angle of attack to RAM. Note that the pro automatically moves to the next page. This page and the following pages are for advanced calibration techniques like setting the landing gear warning. Skip to the last page by pressing the page button multiple times. The save page can be verified by observing a zero SA on the bottom of the display. This is the page where we will save the calibration data to flash memory. Push and release the record button. Note that the professional has now automatically switched to the flight mode and is using flaps up data to compute your angle of attack. As you push on the yoker stick, the angle of attack decreases and the airspeed increases. As you pull on the yoke or stick, the angle of attack increases and the airspeed decreases. Angle, angle, push. Try a steep turn holding the indicated airspeed constant. Let's hold the airspeed at 100 knots. As we roll into a bank, observe an increase in the angle of attack. Angle, angle, push. And as we roll angle, out of the push. bank, observe angle, the angle, decrease push. in the angle of attack. The airspeed remained the same and we can stall an airplane at any airspeed. Now let's build the flaps down or landing configuration database. Position the flaps to down. Get into the calibration mode. Skip over the hangar calibration page. Verify you are on the zero lift page. Perform the zero lift maneuver. Push and release the record button as you are weightless. Verify you are on the angle advisory page. Fly at 1.15 times the flaps down stalling speed. In this aircraft, the stalling speed is 60 times 1.15 is 69. Push and release the record button. Skip to the save page. Push and release the record button to save the calibration data to flash memory. Note that after saving the landing calibration data to flash memory, the professional has automatically switched to the flight mode and is displaying your angle of attack using the landing flaps database to compute your AOA. If we slow down, the angle of attack angle, angle, approaches push. critical. Angle, angle, push. Angle, angle, push. As we speed up, angle, angle, the angle push. of attack decreases. The numbers at the bottom of the display are units of angle of attack measured in tenths of a degree. We are now flying at 6.3 degrees angle of attack. Maintaining a constant indicated airspeed Let's increase the wing loading. As we increase the wing loading, the angle of attack increases. Angle, angle, push. As we decrease angle, the angle, wing loading, push. the angle of attack decreases. Congratulations, the professional is calibrated.